Hello, scholars. So nice to see you. First of all, I'm going to apologize because my camera is glitchy tonight. I don't know what's wrong with it, but we're just going to go with it. And I want to introduce you guys to an artist who I love, and I think you're going to love too. Her name is Alma Woodsy Thomas. And um, she was an African-American woman who was an American artist who painted abstract paintings. And sometimes people say she painted abstract expressionist paintings. She was born in 1871 in Georgia, and she died in 1978 um, in Washington, D.C. And she lived most of her life in Washington, D.C. So this is a painting by Alma Woodsy Thomas, and it's called The Eclipse. And I want you to look at it because Alma Woodsy Thomas's paintings are known for pattern, rhythm, and color. And I wonder, can you see those things in this painting? This painting also has a radial design. That means it starts out at one point and it radiates out like the sun. Alma's artwork resembles mosaic. Mosaic is this thing that you see on the right. It's like tile work. And um, it's a very old form of artwork. And the way that Alma communicates like a mosaic is she does it with paint. And sometimes she does it with collage instead of tile. This painting is called End of Autumn, 1960, and it was painted in 1968. So Alma Woodsy Thomas was really inspired by her garden and by nature. And these paintings are um, representations of that. She was inspired by the shifting light that would filter between the leaves of the trees in her garden. And she used nature as an inspiration for her work. This one on the left is called Spring Displays a Rock Garden. And this one on the right is called Flowers in Spring. This one is called Red Violet Nursery Viewed from Above, also inspired by nature. You can notice in this that we're not seeing a direct interpretation of real flowers, right? We're seeing kind of like an idea communicated and we see it in these splotches and we see it in these lines and patterns and repeating shapes. The one on the left is called Phantasmagoria and the one on the right is called Garden of Blue Flowers Rhapsody. Does that look like a garden of blue flowers to you? Maybe not, but does it kind of evoke the idea? Does it make you think of blue flowers? Maybe. In some of the abstract paintings that Alma Woodsy Thomas is famous for, she wanted to show the heavens and the stars and her idea of what it's like to be an astronaut exploring space. This one is called Blast Off and it was made in 1970. This one is called Apollo 12 Splash Down, also made in 1970. And I wanted to show you this one because this one is so colorful. This is such a colorful piece of her artwork. And color was a super important thing for Alma Woodsy Thomas. And this is what she said about it. The use of color in my paintings is of paramount importance. That means like the most important thing. Through color, I have sought to concentrate on beauty and happiness rather than man's you inhumanity to man. This painting, my friends, was done in um, two ways. The first way on the left you'll see is called a study. And that's where she kind of worked out her ideas of what the painting on the right was going to look like. She did it quickly. She did it in watercolors. And then she did it later on the right. And um, this is her, her real painting that she made, her final painting and it's called Resurrection. And I wonder if you see the radial design in this one. Um, this one I love. This is um, made with tape, all kinds of tape, and it's put onto pieces of paper that are stapled together. And so it's just little cut up pieces of tape, tape on um, pieces of paper with staples in it. 
So this is a painting that doesn't look like the other Alma Thomas paintings, and it's called March on Washington from 1964. And Alma Thomas made this work in an era when many African-American artists were making art that showed pictures about being black in America. And some of that art was political art. Alma Thomas decided that this was not mostly the kind of art that she wanted to make. In this way, she was different from other black artists of her time. These works by Alma Woodsy Thomas are found at the Columbus Museum in Georgia in her hometown. Alma was a trailblazer. That means she was the first to do some things. She was the first woman to graduate from the fine arts program at Howard University, a famous black college. First woman to do that. She was also the first African-American woman to have a solo art exhibit at a major museum. A solo art exhibit means that they want to show a lot of the work from one artist and not a bunch of artists. And so she got a solo show. But did you know that she didn't really start producing her own artwork until she retired from teaching art when she was 69? For most of her life, she was a teacher and she taught kindergarten and she taught art. And then after she retired is when she became really serious about making her own art. So Vashti Harrison said, Alma is truly a testament to being dedicated to the thing you love and having the patience to let it grow. And that, my friends, is our fabulous artist, Alma Woodsy Thomas.